Yes, my name is Dina Martin Owens, and I am the co-founder and vice president of Cry For Me No More. And uh, Teresita, my business partner, and I developed this program. I was drawn to it by the uh, passing of my children, Amanda and Logan Mills, in a car accident in 2011. And in my search for trying to figure out how to heal myself, realized that there wasn't a lot of healing work out there for bereaved parents. And through my connections with Teresita and her healing abilities and other organizations that we belong to, we decided that we should bring our talents together and bring our gifts to other bereaved parents to help them to heal. So the Cry For Me Foundation started, um, for me, it wasn't the Cry For Me Foundation, it started some years back um, when I started to do these workshops in a different way for bereaved parents. And I really realized from that workshop that they needed something different. We needed to do something for the mothers and something for the fathers. And it wasn't being done. And so that's when I got a huge aha moment. I need to separate the moms out and have the moms grieve with the moms and the dads grieve with the dads and then bring them back together as a family. And so I've been doing this for some time. And a couple years ago, I worked with the um, Michael Strange Foundation, which was the Gold Star families for the military families that have lost someone. And so I was asked to put this workshop back together because I hadn't done it for some years. And so I put it back together and Dina was there with me and she'll explain how she arrived at that part of her journey. And uh, she staffed that weekend and it was, a great, like I said, it was a great success. And after some time, that organization we stepped back from for various different reasons. And then in June, actually it was May of this year, um, Dean and I have been friends for some time. Um, our life both has changed in many different ways and we got back together again and we decided that we're going to do this for mainstream. And so I'm the creator of the workshop and Dean is the brain behind making it a business and making it a go. So she's my perfect partner in the sense that she she promotes it, she's the Facebook, she's the social media, she's the fundraiser, she's all those things that I am not. And so we've matched up perfectly for that and now we have to cry for me no more. Fabulous, fabulous. It was just so much healing. Uh, wonderful people that I saw come uh, the first day were broken and so sad and carried so much weight and then through the, the weekend and to see them this morning smiling and celebrating their children and the joy in their face and, and, and the, among the tears but it's just an amazing transformation of healing. I found the weekend to be truly inspiring. Um, it was deep, it was very intense. There was an incredible amount of healing that I think took place uh, to varying degrees. Different participants um, shifted um, in their own ways, but I think everyone was able to shift something a little bit uh, to be able to move forward in their healing journey. It's not a cure for their bereavement, but it is a, a small step forward uh, and a positive step forward to live a more positive and thriving life rather than just surviving. Um, very positive weekend. Um, uh, I was amazed at the the depth of grief that, that people can handle um, and, and make it through. Um, and the resiliency that, that they have um, of, of dealing with, you know, something I can't even begin to wrap my brain around. Um, so very positive, very powerful weekend. Um, saw a lot of really amazing healing. Take the risk. See if you can find the courage to take a look at some of these pains and scars and work with them so that you can turn that, uh, med those, that poison into medicine.
that's really what I would uh, would offer as an invitation. Uh, and it is a risk. It, it does take an courage to step forward and to work through this 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 kind of pain. But it's also a unique opportunity to get support and to realize you're not in the process alone and that others are there for you. The experience, but from their own children and, you know, what their head and their heart both needed to say. And this weekend provided, you know, an outlet for all of that. And this, this type of work isn't work that you can do on your own. You definitely need an experienced staff in order to be able to guide through this weekend. And I, I honestly had a great weekend. The exercises we did were really therapeutic. I learned a lot from them. I learned a lot about myself. It allowed me to grieve a little deeper and to have a little more peace. How we can manage grief and manage our lives <clears throat> differently now than we had before. We do have another child, 25 year old daughter, and uh, we've been working through this together. It gives us even some tools uh, that I think can help in our inter relationship with her. Uh, in fact, I'd really like for her to. Uh, maybe be a part of this in the future. Uh, we live nearby, she lives in Atlanta. Uh, but uh, I can't say enough about the staff, you know, uh, the experience and the level of the attunement that the staff has had and different for different people, you know. There are members of the staff who would not have been able to really benefit me, frankly. And I can say that there are probably other members of the staff who would not have connected with my wife as well or as deeply as has been achieved. So it's that it's that comprehensive um, dynamic of experience in the staff that has been amazing. I mean, you know, the, the word is overused, but it has a, it's been a connection not only for us, but we've seen how they're able to connect with the other people who are in this group with us for these last uh, just over almost 48 hours now and um, again they're sensitive enough to know how to connect and, 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 and uh, knowledgeable enough to know how to uh, make that connection effective. We, that's, that's our main job is to help them to trust us and I feel so honored and so grateful to have shared this weekend with so many wonderful people and gotten to know their children. And within 24 hours, you can see it start to shift and that pain start to turn into a little bit of hope. And then now that we're at the 48 hour mark of this weekend, to see them just have opened up and, and blossoming. And you know, this is something that I hope we can carry throughout the world. And, and really make a difference in bereaved parents' lives as we go forward, and I'm just so honored that they have all joined us.